English. Now today we will learn tense and the kinds of it. But I want to tell you one thing that gradually we will understand this tense and the kinds step by step. So today our basic topic of learning will be present indefinite tense. So let's start. Now tense is the form of a verb which shows the time and state of an action. Now what is the meaning of this? Like the word tense. See the word tense comes from a Latin word tempus which means time. Actually this tense is related with the time. Whatever action or work we did in the past, we are doing now and we will be doing in the future are all related with the time. And depending on this time, these actions are related with, are related or connected with this time. Okay. Now, tense can be divided into three parts. They are present tense, past tense and future tense. Now, this present tense, this can be divided into four parts. Now, what are they? Present indefinite or we can say simple present, present continuous, present perfect and present perfect continuous. Similarly, this past tense also can be divided into four parts and that is past indefinite or simple past, whatever you say, past continuous, past perfect and past perfect continuous and the future tense can be also divided into four parts and they are simple future or future indefinite, future continuous, future perfect and future perfect continuous. So this can be divided also into four parts. So today we will teach present indefinite or simple present and we will understand the basic concept of it uh, with various examples. Let's begin. Present indefinite tense. This can also be called simple present tense. Okay. Now the simple present tense or this present indefinite tense have got three characteristics. Now what are they? This tense is used for everyday events, habits or facts. Secondly, it is a habitual action. Whatever actions or work we are doing every day. Like if I say, I go to school every day. Okay. Like I play badminton every day. So this is the habits or the habitual action which we are doing every day in the present time. Okay. So in that case, this is based on habitual action. And number three, this is always a general truth. Means this cannot be ignored. The truth which cannot be ignored. Like the leaves are green. Okay, the sun rises in the east. So, these are the basic truth or the general truth which cannot be ignored. Okay, so based on these three characteristics, present indefinite tense or simple present tense has been constructed. In one word, present indefinite tense will be the actions which are doing in the, which we are doing in the present times. Like I play, she walks, I run, they study. Okay, these all are the examples of present indefinite tense and the basic structure of present indefinite tense will be there will be a subject main verb and the extension of the sentence uh, and in this case in this present indefinite tense in this case we always use the present form of the main verb okay and for third person singular number s or es will be added for third person plural number uh, singular form of main verb will be used like for example if i say uh, it will be easy for you to understand like subject in the subject we are placing i in the main verb i am placing drink and in the extension of the sentence we are placing milk every day so the sentence comes like this i drink milk every day okay now if i say she drinks milk every day here I am placing drinks because this is a third person singular number. So as I have told you that ES, we have to place S or ES with the main verb. So she drinks milk every day. So third person singular number, we are just placing S with the main verb. Okay. If I say they drink milk every day, this is also a third person plural number. So we are placing the singular form of drink. Only drink is used. Okay. Or drink is placed in the sentence. So just see the sentences. I drink milk every day. She drinks milk every day. They drink milk every day. So these all sentences are present in definite tense. Like the second example is I go 
to school. So here subject I am placing I. I am placing go in the main verb and in the extension of the sentence I am placing to school. Okay. Now if I say she goes to school. Okay. In that case also she is a third person singular number so I am placing ES in the main verb. I am adding ES in the main verb which comes goes over here. So she goes to school. They go to school. Here in the subject we are placing they which is a third person plural number. So we are placing singular form of the main verb which is go. In case of auxiliary verbs we can place do or does in the sentences like I do, we do. For third person singular number, this will be she does, he does. For third person plural number, this will be they do. Now we will do few assertive sentence, negative sentence and interrogative sentence and interrogative negative sentence based on this present indefinite tense. Let's start. Assertive. I go to school. Negative. I do not go to school. Now the interrogative sentence will be do I go to school and the interrogative negative sentence will be do I not go to school. Now next assertive sentence Shohini teaches English on YouTube. Negative sentence based on present indefinite tense will be Shohini does not teach English on YouTube. Interrogative sentence will be does Shohini teach English on YouTube? And interrogative negative sentence will be Does not Shohini teach English on YouTube? Now, if the subject is noun, not will be placed before noun. And if it is pronoun, not will be placed after pronoun. So, hope you have understood this present indefinite tense or simple present tense. These kind of sentences are based on everyday actions which we are doing okay like uh, I go to school I drink milk every day okay so based on the uh, subject who is speaking like she he or I based on this the main verb will be changed and the auxiliary verbs will be also be changed okay now we will do some exercise based on this present indefinite tense let's start fill in the blanks with the verbs which will construct the simple present tense. She dash at bank. The answer will be works. They dash to drawing class every Sunday. The answer will be go. She dash to cook. The answer will be likes. Ravi and Manoj dash football every day. The answer will be play. Rina dash delicious food. The answer will be mates. My sister dash very well. The answer will be sings. This can be sings. This can be cook. This can be draws. Whatever. Okay. So the main verb must be in a present tense. Next. Rahul dash English well. The answer will be speaks. The sun dash in the east. The answer will be rises. Honey dash sweet. The answer will be tastes. Okay, now we will again go to the next exercise. Let's begin. Fill in the blanks with do not and does not. She dash go to market every day. The answer will be does not. They dash play cricket. The answer will be do not. I dash drive my car as I have no license. The answer will be do not. She dash talk with her friends. The answer will be does not. We dash make silly jokes. The answer will be do not. The machine dash work properly. The answer will be does not. So in this exercise we have uh, understood about auxiliary verbs like when to place do not and when to place does not. Okay. Now we will go 
uh, in the next exercise where we can construct uh, interrogative sentence. Make interrogative sentence with this assertive sentence. She goes to school. The interrogative sentence will be, does she go to school? They watch films on Sundays. The interrogative sentence will be, do they watch films on Sunday? Next, he rides bicycle every day. The interrogative sentence will be, does he ride bicycle every day? Mohan likes to play flute. The interrogative sentence will be, does Mohan like to play flute? So today we have learned about present indefinite tense. You have to see more and more examples for this for smooth understanding. And you can see also my exercise which I have already uploaded in the video, in this video. And uh, next you have to also um, construct different kinds of sentences based on this present indefinite tense like assertive sentence, interrogative sentence, interrogative negative sentence. Uh, you have to practice more on this, okay? So as of now ending my class, next day I will come with present continuous tense. So as of now I am ending my class, you all stay safe, study properly, bye-bye.